This is a prized possession. It was given to me uh, back in 2002 by the chiropractors of Argentina. It was actually the first time that I had spoken in South America. And it represents an iconic uh, symbol in chiropractic uh, called the toggle recoil adjustment, developed very early on by Dr. B.J. Palmer and is still used today. As a matter of fact, occasionally I use it. Uh, the idea behind this adjustment, uh, at least as it's evolved, is it's not a power move. That's uh, hence the, the term toggle recoil, meaning uh, it's a simple toggling of the hands and the recoil is as the doctor's hands return, uh, it's not a power move. You're not trying to force the vertebrae in position. And in fact, you, you couldn't anyway, nor would you want to. But the idea here is that the, uh, the power, the, uh, the ability to return the vertebra, restore the vertebra, vertebra to its natural position takes place on the inside. That's certainly the idea also behind advanced muscle palpation, where we use the muscles to guide us as to where the vertebra needs to be. It's like following a, a neurological map because these muscles are activated by the central nervous system, the brain and the nerves, and they're concerned with the position of the vertebra. So they, they go to work uh, to restore that position and the chiropractor then just facil facilitates that res restoration by finding the vertebra. See, in, in toggle recoil, it's about the position of the hands, position of the patient, and the precision with which you approach that subluxation, meaning if you know where the subluxation occurs and what direction it needs to move, it's actually relatively easy to shift the vertebra back into place because you're not putting it where it needs to belong. As a matter of fact, early, very early on, Dr. Palmer uh, used uh, video fluoroscopy and demonstrated that after the adjustment took place, there was an oscillation of the atlas or the C1 vertebra as it was restored to its natural position. And it's the muscles that actually make that correction. Um, if you were to look at the sideline position, we're making contact with uh, the C1 transverse process here as the patient's lying on their side and the toggle takes place right there. And if your, um, your adjustment is consistent with where these muscles are already activated and attempting to bring that vertebra back into position. It's actually a very simple, very light um, adjustment. And there's other techniques as well that we use that uh, really you reduce uh, your forces, the force going into the patient to a bare minimum. And the reason that's um, possible is because again, you're not trying to shift the vertebra from point A to point B. You're just kind of going into the ideal direction and then respecting the body's ability to restore natural positioning.